So you're just sitting at home, minding your own business, when suddenly you hear a little on the door. You open it up, and there is a child. Little, 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 little one. Three, four years old at the most. Innocent. Your parental instincts, they kick in. You want to help. Why is this kid on my porch? And they ask, can I use the phone? And you realize, wait a second, there's something wrong with this child's eyes. In fact, it looks like they have no eyes at all. Black-eyed children, we hear a very, very creepy story on this week's EPP bonus episode of Real Ghost Stories Online. To hear the full thing, sign up to be an EPP at ghostpodcast.com. You don't want to miss it. Here's a taste. I opened the door, and there the child stood. Couldn't have been more than three or four years old. We have to use your phone. I stood frozen in fear. I just even know I was in here. She raised her head to face me directly, and that was when I saw her eyes. There was a reason I couldn't see them through her bangs before. They were black. Or midnight blue, or dark, or dark purple. They were otherworldly. She said, our mother is worried. And as someone who's always been interested in creepy stories, I knew what she was the second she looked at me through the door. I've never been one to believe in these things. As a staunch atheist and skeptic when it comes to the paranormal, I had written off many a ghost story from friends and family members eager to tell their tale. I didn't believe it. Still, I couldn't rationalize my way out of this. I was standing with nothing but a thin wooden door between me and a black-eyed child. There was no questioning what was right in front of me. I did not answer. Slowly and silently, I backed away from the door. My dog, Lucy, still cowering at my ankles, she kept talking. Just let us in to use your phone. I took another step back, and with that step, the tone changed. At first, she seemed polite. When I took that second step back, she became commanding, almost hostile. We're not going to hurt you. If we wanted to do that, we would have broken in. I'll ask again. May we come in and use your phone? The dog snarled from the door. <laughs> Gonna make you think twice about answering that door next time, isn't it? Very, very creepy story. Hear the full thing, the full account. Find out what happens. Does a child go away? Does a child get invited in to use the phone and maybe watch a little full house and uh, have a Snapple or something? It's a great episode. It's a great story. Check it out. Ghostpodcast.com. Five bucks a month to be an EPP. Get this and almost 100 bonus episodes of our show to get freaked out upon uh, as uh, you enjoy your weekend. Maybe you're camping and uh, looking for some spooky stories. Yeah, this would be the best way to get some of those. Check it out, ghostpodcast.com. Help us stay on the air and enjoy. Enjoy.